we have present? The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and my wife Audrey. Well, this is a big night for us and for all the stars. We are so honored and glad that it is right next to the Oscars. Who are your favorite stars here tonight? Oh, you know, everybody is a star here tonight. Being the Chamber of Commerce, we can't have favorites, but I got to tell you, <laughs> it's a great night for Hollywood. So, in my view, Hollywood is the star. Absolutely. Now, I have to ask you maybe you have something to do with this, but who chooses the stars on the Walk of Fame? We do. <laughs> is it a, how many people vote in that? Because it's, it's always, it always feels like it's that one person in charge, but there's a voting panel? There's a committee. There are five categories on the Walk of Fame, and we have one person representing each of those categories, and they are all past Walk of Fame honorees. Now, I just saw, because I was on your site yesterday, RuPaul is going to be honored, and I am so thrilled. He is a major star. I had also read, though, in the past, reality stars aren't given stars on the Walk of Fame. Like, Kim Kardashian wanted one, and you guys said no. You have to be a real actress. Tell us how um, a reality show star can get a star. Well, they have to be nominated for the first part of the thing. Uh, Kim Kardashian's never applied. So has to be I did not know that. If they, don't, if they aren't nominated, they can't consider it. I thought she wanted one like it was like her, okay made statements in the news media, but she was never under consideration. So the first thing you have to do is apply. It's usually your agent nominates you. Right. Agent, a studio, friends, family. We get between, well, we get about 300 applications a year. And from those 300 applications, they'll select 25 or 30. So if you're a reality a star, you're, you can certainly apply, but you're against some very stiff competition. Exactly. Well, he's a recording artist. He is doing more, and it's a competition reality, so we're bringing a lot of a cast onto a show that's very talented. So I'm all in. Like, I'm, Yes, I agree with that. I agree with that. And also, you know, it took a long time for Batman to get a star, and there was a whole reality show about that. Well, why, did it, why does it take some stars so long? Well, you know, again, you have to be nominated. Now, in some cases, we have people who've applied year after year, and it's just... The committee looks at who's out there in the talent and select what they think are the best ones. But in other cases, they never applied. You know, so Mark Hamill is getting a star this next week. Well, he was never nominated before. So he was just approved last year. Oh my gosh. It's a great ceremony. Uh, Carrie Fisher was never nominated. So unfortunately, uh, she couldn't be uh, honored while she was alive. Now, there's, once you pass away, there's a five-year waiting period. So after five years, uh, somebody should go ahead and nominate Carrie. Because after that five year, you can't do it anymore? No, after five, there's a waiting period. After five years, after somebody's died, then you can apply. They don't, because of the, uh, immediately after someone's passed, the, uh, the sympathy and the out, uh, swelling of, uh, of thoughts and you feelings, need you need that closure. So Selena... You know, when she died, everybody wanted her to get a star, but he said, you have to wait five years. She just got her star last year. Turnout was amazing. Probably the biggest crowd we've ever had. I heard you guys wanted Julia Roberts to have a star on the Walk of Fame. Is that the same thing? She's not applying? Well, I know she's not applying, but do you guys want her to be on the Walk of Fame? You know, Julia Roberts, as my understanding, doesn't want a star. That's the thing. Yeah, of course, she should be a great uh, asset, a great person in the Walk of Fame. But she has to be nominated, and she has to agree to accept the award. When you nominate someone, you have to have a letter from them saying they will accept the honor. And it's my understanding she does not want it. But if she's listening, tell her to, to get that letter. She can change her mind. One last question. Do you have red carpets? Because I've never covered a, a Walk of Fame star ceremony. Is it a, do you have a section for the media, or is it just a million photographers? Uh, well, we do have red carpet, obviously. It's Hollywood. Right. Uh, and we do have a lot of media. The problem is we're doing this on a sidewalk, and there's limited access. So we limit the number of press. It's kind of first come, first served. You have to apply. I already applied for RuPaul, so I'm before everybody. Right. Our uh, pu director of publicity goes through them, and uh, hopefully you got yours in soon enough. Well, thank well now that you are on our show... <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. You do a fabulous job. Thank you. Thank you very much and enjoy the evening.